Hi, Don Garbutt here. Welcome back to the final part of this mini-series on Reactor. What we're going to do in this episode is modify our X router to make it an XY router. We'll be able to produce this type of control. In a flexible instrument, we're going to actually need many of these patches, so I'll show you how to connect them all up together. If we go back to the end of the last tutorial, we had an X controller. It won't take us long to modify our X patcher to make it an XY patcher. So if you remember from the last tutorial, we have a router module. That module receives incoming modulation sources and sends out to targets. If we go inside the router module, we had our patcher number one. As we go inside patcher number one, we see our source module and our destination module. Modulation, for instance, from an envelope generator would be transmitted out the output and multiplied by the range control, which was that display device that we built. That's where we have to go to make some modifications. Inside our source module, we had our initial switch, which chose the input, and we also had the control amount, which was coming from the display macro that we built. So let's go inside the display macro. First of all, we want the mouse to transmit exactly like this, only with the Y axis. So what we'll do is we'll copy this and connect the Y output of the XY module. Label the out terminal Y. Now in the same way that X had to send feedback back into the display, we're going to do the same with Y. So we attach this merge output to the input of the Y on the display. Now let's adjust the size of the display. And what we should also do is connect up this constant to the X and the Y input here. Now that we've got it on the X and Y input, change the constant value to zero. Before this will work, we have to go outside of the display macro and connect up this Y terminal to the outside world. Create an out terminal, leave the source module, and now what we want to do is we want to have a whole duplicate of this menu of targets for the Y axis. Select both the list module and the distributor panner module and duplicate them. After this duplication, we see that we have another menu that's shown up here. This will be the Y target. So essentially, our source modulation will go to both distributors. Now, since we duplicated this, we've actually got a cable coming from here, but we don't want that. So disconnect that cable and label this second output Y. Now copy and paste the multiplier object. Feed it the same output source, only this time it'll be multiplied by the Y value and sent on as the in material to be distributed by our distributor panner. Now our final step is to sum the signals from the outputs of both our distributor panners. Disconnect all the cables from distributor number one because what we want to do is put an adder in between the distributor and the target path. Let's get eight add devices. We've left position number zero as an off position on our distributor. So begin connecting the pairs of terminals from both distributors. And connect the outputs of the adders to our destination terminals. And you see that once again, our envelope generator has come alive, showing us that we have a proper circuit. Now that we've completed that, try moving around on the XY axis. You might want to make an adjustment of the cursor type here. And we now have a functional XY controller. Let's try it out. Let's use X as oscillator one volume and Y as filter one cutoff point. And let's make sure that we have our oscillator volume up in our mix. We do. working like a charm. You could even say it's a thing of beauty. When you're transmitting modulation, sometimes the target has a range controller as well. So don't forget to add some range amount on the target. All right, now the final thing to add to this story is to make a duplicate of this complete patcher array. And that's gonna be a little bit easier. So to do that, let's go outside of patcher number one, where you see the completed patcher number one array here. And once again, we're going to disconnect these cables, but we could actually do it in a slightly different way here. I'll show you what we need. We need another bunch of adder devices. So first we'll duplicate the patcher. Conveniently that attaches the input sources to the patcher inputs. Now up on the graphic display, you'll see that the duplication process has just dumped down the components over top of the others. So holding the shift key down, if we select individually the four components, we should then be able to drag them all nicely over to here. Hooray! 
patcher number two. The only thing is we have to gang the signals from both patches to our summed destination route here. So once again, to do that, we'll use adders. So I'm just going to build them over here and we're going to place them in this kind of zigzag pattern. And now I'm going to connect both patches to the adder. And as I send this to the terminal, you'll see it'll replace the original. So we get to skip the step of taking out the original terminal cables. Connect it all up. And there's our new look. So now it starts to get interesting. We could use envelope generator 2 to control the volume of oscillator 2. And have the y-axis on patcher 2 control filter 2's cutoff point. So let's change envelope generator number 2 so that it sounds different from envelope 1. Perhaps with a sharp attack. <laughs> And I'm just going to move a couple of objects around here so that we can see everything. So now you can see in here envelope 2 controlling the volume of oscillator 2 and the filter cutoff point of filter 2. This instrument has 16 of those patchers. These patchers are a little different here, but what I've done is I've used the spin type for the menus instead of the pull down type. That way I can have a really long menu even if it's at the bottom of the instrument. All my routers are housed in a router module here, and that's why it looks pretty gory inside, because each of these is a patcher. And that's why it starts to look pretty crazy when you sum all the patches together to get the outputs. And that's it for this three-part mini-series on Reactor. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to go out with some music made on this instrument called Spectrum Synth.